Good morning. It's the morning of City to Surf. I'm here in Hyde Park about to go for the run. So the City to Surf is a run from the middle of Sydney out to Bondi Beach, which is about 14 kilometers. And it is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, fun run in the world. So in 2010, there was apparently 80,000 participants. So by now in 2019, there's probably about 85, maybe even 90,000 people running this event. And it's a big event for charity. So there's so many people running for charity in this event. There's even a special start group just for the charity runners. Um, and that's just the people who are specifically charity runners. Then there's all the people who are running on behalf of a charity, but they paid for normal entry. So it's absolutely massive. And I try and run it as often as I can for a charity. So for the last three years, I've been running it for Australian Cancer Research Foundation, which is what I've been running it this year for as well, in the Lion Dance costume. We landed half an hour late. Shit. That doesn't give me much time to get to the starting line. Probably the only person on this flight stupid enough to do the city to surf today. No one else seems to be rushing, <laughs> but I am. So I made it home. It's quarter past eight. Oh, quarter past seven. Technically I run at eight. That's not gonna happen. Just gotta drop my stuff off, get back inside and it's fucking cold and windy. I got here, it's only just before eight, but I've still gotta pick up my bib and then just join whatever group I can to start with and just hopefully get to the toilet too because I need to go. And it's a chilly one this morning. We're gonna get a nice westerly breeze coming from behind us. So that'll be a decent little push down to Bondi. Hopefully it's quite nice at Bondi. Whew, it's definitely a change in weather from Spain. So I made it, got my costume on, got my bib. It's gonna start soon. Found the ACRF people as well. Now I just gotta find a start group to start with and get out there. Because uh, I'm red group, I can start in any group, as far as I know, after the red group. I mean, they started about half an hour ago. I was never gonna make that one. But now heading, hopefully gonna catch the blue group. Nearly there! Just about to start. Uh, and the blue start group, number two. Uh, yeah. I'll see you in a... Uh, Hour and a half, two hours, something like that. Oh, here we go. He is very busy. Let me just look at that. And the Hare Krishnas every year. All downhill from here. Yeah. Nearly there. And now a loop to loop, and I'm done. Congratulations! How good is that? It's great out this city. Out of this head. Right. Oh, we're launching a dance versus the super nice. Oh, I'm sweaty. So I'm running this on behalf of Australian Cancer Research Foundation in memory to my Kung Fu Sifu, Sifu Randy Bennett, Australian Jaga Kung Fu Academy, who unfortunately passed away in 2017 from mantle cell lymphoma. So, raising money for ACRF as I've done for the last two years in the Lion Dance costume every year. Thank you. It's done, 14 kilometers, hour 25, under an hour and a half. I'm gonna go out for a walk on the beach since it's a little quieter, though it is windier out here. That was a decent run. I actually felt pretty good throughout the whole lot, even running and skipping in costume. I think my running last week in Spain in 35 degree heat really quite helped with this. 
because this costume is very warm. All right, walking on sand is tough. I'm gonna try and head back up to the boardwalk. Ah. My ankles not liking walking on sand. Also, considering that I landed in Sydney at 6.30 a.m. today, I should be feeling quite dead right now, especially since I only got six hours sleep on the plane. But I'm not feeling too bad. Now, unfortunately, this year I was a bit late to the start, so I started a little bit further back than I would have liked. So therefore, it was extremely busy. Uh, if you want to get a good time in the city to surf, try and get as close to the front as possible and in the earliest starting group you possibly can. If you can qualify for an earlier starting group through another event, such as the Sydney Morning Herald Half Marathon, then do so. And that will allow you to maybe even start in, say, the red group, which means that you'll have pretty much only runners around you, no walkers. And that's one of the problems of starting further back is that you're constantly ducking and weaving around people, going up onto the sidewalk, just trying to get past all the bunches of walkers and slower runners. But I think that is also what makes it a lot of fun, is uh, if you were just doing it as a regular run, maybe it wouldn't be as fun. But since you have so many sort of obstacles and people that you gotta kind of duck around, uh, and there's so many costumes and people just having a lot of fun on the day, it just makes it such an amazing, fun event. The whole day went amazingly well. Uh, the run was really good, and I just enjoyed the whole thing. And, to top it all off, of course, charity went amazing. I raised about $450 grand total for Australian Cancer Research Foundation. And especially since I wasn't really pushing it that much this year, uh, that's great that I managed to raise that much. So I went to the ACRF tent, had some food, had a couple of drinks, met up with my dad, and then went home. So now the build up is for my next run, which is the Blackmore's Sydney Marathon, where I'm gonna be setting the Guinness World Record title, the fastest marathon run in a Kung Fu uniform, again. So if you wanna see the video I did about that, I'll leave a link up there. If you want swim, bike, run content every week from now here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.